What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com, the blog, the podcast, the YouTube channel, where you go when you want action-packed content in the app business. Today, I want to show you one of my favorite ASO tools out there, and they just launched a free plan that gives you so much more than any paid plan out there. So if you're on a budget and you're looking for an ASO tool that's going to really help you find new keywords, seamlessly integrate with your ASO workflow, and help you track some of those keyword rankings, well, this is the tool for you. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, the tool that we're going to be talking about today is called AppRadar. You can find out more at AppRadar.com. They've got a great service and full disclosure, they are a sponsor of our podcast. Today, what I'll be showing you is everything that they've got included in the free account. You can see here what's included. So I'm doing the free account. You can track up to 200 keywords, which is amazing. Like most tools, you can't even track any keywords for free. So this is just the free analyze up to five competitors, see 30 days of historical data. And I think it's up to two apps right here. So you can sign up for their plan 399, not cheap. That's why they're like, Hey, here it is. Or if you're a publisher or agency, you can do 699. So really, really cool. They've got some UA services as well. So if you're running search ads and need help with that, go check them out right here. But let's get into the tool. Here it is. So I've added a couple of my di different apps out here. Now, don't pay attention to downloads. I haven't had much time to really focus on my apps as we've been helping out the agency side of things. But my apps, I try to use them as a test dummy. So we're going to try to get them going. But right now, they're just sort of a test case scenario. All right, let's go to one of my more popular apps called Rain Sounds. Now you will have to connect to your app store credentials to get all these apps to show up. And so that is the downside. You can't just add any app out there. You have to add an app that you have access to via Google play or the app store connect. So you can't just nilly willy add any type of app in here. Okay. So once you have done that, I've added my apps and I've connected to my app store connect app radar will just show me these keywords. Now I can obviously add my own by just doing this, or I can go into the keyword explorer and find new keywords in there as well, which if you're starting your optimization, these are the things that you want to do is do a lot of keyword research. Okay. So here it is. Like these are all the keywords you can sort by popularity. What I'd love to see here is the difficulty for these keywords as well. But right now we do see the popularity in my current rank for these keywords. So I'm 25 for this Not a great keyword, but sleep sounds I'd love to be higher. So I'm going to track this and then white noise. I'd love to be higher too. I'm going to love to track that. Okay. So once you start tracking the keywords, you're going to get an email every day that says, Hey, these are the current keyword rankings. The other cool thing about this is as you're starting to do keyword research, maybe you're just thinking like, Oh, these would be great keywords. For example, what you can see is the popularity of the keyword. So the traffic volume and the difficulty. So the best type of keywords are these type of keywords right here, foobar, <laughs> but they have no difficulty. So as you can see, I'm number three for that keyword and they have decent amount of traffic. And so you want to find these type of keywords that have good traffic up here and low difficulty. So I'm able to rank for these two keywords like sound machine rain sounds, cause I'm obviously optimizing for them but you can see the number of apps and then the difficulty. So these are pretty competitive keywords, but Hey, I'm able to rank well for them using some of my tricks out there. So if you can click this little, I don't know what it's called, but a little, that little radar app radar, then you can see the apps that show up for the current ranks. So you can see these are the apps that are beating me for rain sound. All right. Let's go into keyword finder. This is a great tool. I love this. So this is, I use this all the time. So let's say, you know, I wanted uh, my app was, it has sleep sounds essentially. Okay. So let me put sleep in here and they will give me suggestions. Now I can see the popularity the difficulty. This has no difficulty sleep number IQ. Interesting. So this might be a keyword that I want to track and start using. What about here? Sleeping apps. This has to have a lot of difficulty. So I don't know what's happening here. But I'm gonna track that keyword anyways. And I want to possibly use that sleep watch, sleep tracker, all these sleep stories. 
pretty difficult, so I don't want that. But let's say sleep sounds now. That's the primary keyword. I want to see what else is there with that include sleep sounds. Again, you can do popularity right here. You can see the number of apps. One of the things that I would recommend too is if a keyword has decent, like high difficulty, but not a lot of apps are showing up. For example, this one, soothing sleep sounds. Yeah, it's 54, so it's somewhat competitive, but at the same time, there's only 150 and it's decent traffic. So that's a, definitely a keyword I want to go at. So this is what I do. When you're starting to think through, let's say I have a meditation app. When you're starting to think through some of the keywords, you want to start with the base and start going outside of that base, like right here, meditation. Okay. Meditation music, meditation sounds. So you're like, Hey, this is great. Meditation sounds. So maybe you add meditation sounds and then the, the long tail keywords, that's where you're going to find those keywords that have a lot of traffic and low difficulty. Okay. So these are the meditation sounds. Again, sometimes you hit with these where there's no traffic for any of these five is no good. All right. Okay. Let's move on to the competitor inspector, which is really cool. I want to show you guys this. So I picked the competitor right here, music Zen, and I can click this to go out to the app store link, but I'm going to click this again, this little <laughs> radar. And this is a really cool tool. So it can see some keywords, right? I can find some keywords that they're starting to rank for. So they're doing really well with white noise, right? 15, I'm 169, but Hey, sleep, sound sleeper. I'm 32. You're not ranking at all. Right? So you now you're able to see what other keywords, some of your competitors might be using and the popularity for those keywords and how well they rank. So really cool when you're doing competitor analysis and you can go up to five competitors under the free plan. Now I'm going to skip over top charts because it's really how often your app has made the top charts. So some of the bigger publishers might want that. But for me, an indie guy who's not really paying attention to his apps, uh, I'm not going to hit the top charts very often. The other cool thing that I want to show you guys is the app metrics. So this is really, really cool. So this is the past 30 days. And essentially you can see the impressions you're getting through app store search, app store, browse app refer. So most of my traffic is coming from app store search, right? ASO. So now you can see, okay, the conversion rate from impressions to store views and then store views to install. So that's a pretty high install. Once I get that store view that people are installing the app and then the sales from install to actually people buying, I got to improve that, but I'm getting some sales here too. So this is, you're able to see everywhere where it's coming from app refer. You can see that also you can check by country. So here we go. What are the most popular countries that I'm in? It looks like us obviously. And then Canada, the UK, Australia, Vietnam, Japan, so forth. So when I'm thinking about localization, maybe, you know, Vietnam might be a place that I start localizing and also Japan, right here. I'm getting high conversions, to Turkey. So. There's a shot there and I can sort by impressions. I can sort by installs and see how well I'm doing there. Next, I switched over to a different app because I don't want to reveal too many of my secrets here, but next part is the optimized section of app radar. And we're going to the optimization score. So I want to take too much into this. If you know a little bit about ASO, you know, go with your ASO knowledge. When I'm looking at apps or optimization, full disclosure, they tend to be a little bit inaccurate because I know a little bit more hacks than the tool providers have. And so I don't believe their scores, right? As much as I believe my own instincts, this score should suck because I haven't optimized this app, but really cool. If you don't know much about ASO, then follow that. If you're an advanced or intermediate, then maybe don't follow this too much. Here are the cool things that I want to show you guys. So localization, you can see all the different localization. This app I've localized for a ton of different local countries, and you can see what your title is for the U S your subtitle. You can see some of the keywords that you, the keywords that you have right here, the description, everything else, the release notes, the cool thing about this, because this app, there's a new version on there. You can make changes. So I'll hit save. And then I can push this to the app store. Let's move on to the quick editor. There's some <laughs> errors happening right here, but here you can quickly, if you have a paid plan, you can quickly change all the different things of the app. So you can do name, you can do subtitle. You can add subtitles here and you do have to upgrade your plan. So it has to be a paid plan, but you can do quickly change your 
subtitle. You can quickly change your keywords and your descriptions all within this plan. So you don't even need to go to iTunes Connect. You can make all your changes within this quick editor. That's the really cool part. Change log, really cool again. As you start optimizing, you start figuring out what has changed, what hasn't. And you can start to see, hey, there's been a boost in downloads. That's because, you know, I moved this, I added app or I moved free. So it really helps you kind of figure that out. And I've been wanting something like this from an ASO tool because sometimes I'll make changes and be like, did I use this keyword? Have I used this keyword before? What's happened? Should I use it again? You know, like as you go through these iterations, you want to remember what you actually did. All right, guys, that was it. App Radar, really, really cool tool. As you can see, there's a lot you can do just under that free plan that you can get away with that you would not be able to get away with under any other ASO tool. You would have to pay for a lot of these features. Most ASO tools won't give you the popularity, the difficulty, your ranks all for free, but App Radar gives you up to 200 for free. So go check them out. Once again, it is App radar.com. Let them know you heard it on my podcast or YouTube channel, but you don't have to do that. I just want to highlight some of these cool tools out there so that you can see as you're analyzing what tool that you should be using. Again, if you're on a budget or you just need something to really streamline your ASO process, I highly recommend using app radar. Once again, app radar.com. I'll see you on the next video. Peace. Click the top video if you want to see our ASO playlist with a ton of great strategies and growth hacks. And check out the bottom video to see how you can guarantee growth using ASO. Some of our real cool secrets in there.